bitch, you a bird, you thigh, you learn, you see, I earn, you stop, a word, I shoot, no rim, I'm high, you burn, I'm me, that's him, you not, that's word. Look, now obviously we get the cancellation of the whole Dublin press conference. It becomes clear that the UFC is scrambling to make a new main event for 303. And finally, it's announced that, you know, Alex Pereira versus Yuri Prohaska rematch for the light heavyweight championship. You sounded quite excited about it, which makes me more excited about it to get your thoughts on it. So, I mean, look, originally I went from about a 10 to a 6 when I found out this fight got announced compared to the McGregor fight. But... I went back and watched the first fight, and I think people are sleeping on Yuri a little bit, and I think this is a very fun fight. What's your excitement level for it compared to the original main event? Man, I'm super hype about it, but it, it'll only be as exciting as a fight as, as it can be if Yuri starts to grapple a little bit this fight. You know, I'm not saying I want Yuri to win. I'm an Alex Meda fan. I want him Bingo. to win. I, I want to cheer as a fan. I'm going for Alex. You know, he's probably the biggest star in the UFC that's active right now. So um, uh, I definitely want to see him win, but Jerry's chance of winning this fight will be to involve, include some grappling. Include some grappling and work some low kick defense because pena has got killer calf kicks. Um, uh, uh, Jerry is, can get very ego-driven. He gets in a striking battle. He wants to strike and bang it out. But with a guy like that, the, the striking level is so high that your puncher's chance is very low with a guy at that level. So you need – this is MMA. You need to fight this fight like it's an MMA fight. I think if we get some grappling scrambles involved, a little bit of exchange on the feet is going to be a very exciting fight. And I think it might end up being even better than the first one. And the first one was great up until the finish. But, you know, we could have an all-out war, fight of the year candidate, in my opinion. And especially the fact that they're both not probably in the peak shape. You know, these guys are all championship-level fighters. They're not always – they're always training all the time, you know, regardless of whether they're in a fight camp or pushing – that limit all the time they're very consistent so to be able to see them what they are when they're kind of in mid-level shape or year-round shape it's something like you're watching a real fight like they got to fight in the parking lot you know right. so i think it's a i think it's going to be a really exciting fight a really exciting card and um you see did, did it again so or dana did it again dana's always cooking you know yeah i agree with everything you said just to piggyback off that yuri's leg was compromised early and he had to shoot for a takedown in round one I mean, what you said, that alone is key for Yuri if he wants to get this one back. When they first fought, Yuri had success when he mixed in the wrestling. Alex couldn't get him off top mount. He was landing good ground and pound elbows. And the second they got up, Yuri was able to land like a nice uppercut because now he's got Pereira thinking about the takedown. I mean, you said it, right? How important is it for him to mix in the takedowns in this fight? I mean, that's going to go a long way, right? Absolutely. It's That's that's his only key to victory. I, th I don't think... Just taking him down is only key to victory. I, I think he can grapple him and then mix, get, you know, make the striking fight a little more even through that. But at the end of the day, the level of a kickboxing of Pajeda compared to Jiri is so such a gap that, like, if you don't mix it in, you're going to get knocked out. You know, this guy, I, from what I heard, I know we know a few guys at Fusion. You know, I'm in South Florida, but there's guys at Fusion in Orlando. When he came to Florida, the man came here and um, to Florida and trained only grappling, from what I heard. You know what I mean? The guy didn't train any striking. He didn't show up to any sparring day. He just showed up to every single grappling session. The dude You're referring to Yuri, right? High level. If you stay on the feet with him, he is going to knock you out. So it's just not a game you want to play the whole fight. You want to wear him down, take some a little pep out of his step. Work some grappling, cook him against the fence, do some work on him, man, and then you have a chance. But and I think Jiri does because Jiri has a toughness. He's not, he's not no soft. Okay. He's not gonna get hit back up. He's gonna be in there until you put him out. So I think he has a chance to be in, in, um, involves the grappling, and he can even do some work on the feet if he does that first. Another thing that makes the fight exciting is that although Alex finished him in the first fight, Yuri's such an awkward fighter who comes at you from so many angles that he's always dangerous no matter how many times you fight him, no matter how many times you beat him, because he could really hit you with a different shot any time, any fight, right? So, what I mean, guys like Prohaska that are that are so unpredictable, I mean, how, how do you deal with a guy like that in a fight? Man, with guys like that, the thing is they're so wonky and their mechanics are so weird that it's hard to time the way they move. So, I'm... Um, uh, if I were to fight, if I were to be Alex, I would just be patient. I wouldn't rush offense. I would keep the pressure, use my jab, pretty much the way he fought the first fight. Um, throw the low kicks, use his jab, measure distance. Don't rush off, getting off combinations, and let the fight come to him. You know that's what I would do, and um, that worked the first time. But now with a little grappling's involved, we're gonna see if that same style will work or where he'll have to make adjustments to be able to keep playing that same game. Similar question from the Pereira perspective. Those leg kicks from Pereira are just. I've never seen anything quite like it in MMA. And he was giving Yuri trouble with those right from the get the beginning of that first fight. What makes it so difficult to fight a guy who attacks the legs like that? And for anyone who's never taken a leg kick, right? Who anyone who's not a fighter, what does that feel like? 
Oh, air is pretty bad. It'll definitely take the mobility out real quick. You're let, it's there's there's a nerve on that on the meat of that leg by your shin bone that goes. And you know what I mean? It can make your leg go numb, and wow. it can really mess with the way you step. You you, you know what I mean that's what happened with Chandler when he um uh, when his ankle gave out. And stuff is that what like happened that. to O'Malley too? It happened to O'Malley as well. Yeah, when he fought um Chito. If you do, doesn't go numb, it's one. It's something that you're not really conditioned for, so you, the damage adds up very fast. Um, I think the way Alex does it, you know, his his hips are very square when he's square when he throws it, and he doesn't turn his whole hip into it. So it allows him to get back to his positioning to punch really fast. Um, it's also something that he can do to create reads because even though it might not be a power shot, the volume and the accumulation add up and they stick. It's that bone cracking that nerve over and over again. He's so accurate with it that it creates reads and it opens up other parts of the body. So um, I think it's a huge factor that's very hard to defend. You either got to be all the way in or you got to have a specific way to check it. You know, Jerry's a guy that he likes to box heavy. He's very his weight is very front heavy, so that calf kick is there often. So, like I said, if he can be all the way in and close that space and take away that calf kick, or he can use draws and certain techniques to back up, then he can have success on the feet to avoid that. But um, yeah, man, I'm just gonna keep saying that he needs to grapple. <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> you know, no. Gonna, listen, that know? was the big takeaway for me. Clearly, he has to mix in the, you know, in the beginning of the fight when they were just standing, it, it was clear Pereira was superior. But once he started mixing in those takedowns mid round one, the fight started to change. I actually think Yuri was winning the fight up until the finish. Uh huh. I, I mean, it was definitely close, but like it was close. Yeah. Yeah. If you look at scoring and maybe shots landed, maybe he was up, but he wasn't really like damaging him and doing crazy work to Peta. You know, the fight. I feel like the True. the rhythm and tempo was on the, was on Alex's side. You know, yeah. the tempo and the pace was on Alex's side. Jerry was kind of just being being active, you know. But mm -hmm. by being active, that also left him open for, for shots like that left hook. So Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Did you do you remember the finish? Because I saw recently and it, it was um I mean yeah, you know, you hook. could you could predict it. I mean you could I guess you could argue maybe it was a little early. I I've seen way worse finishes, so I I almost didn't even want to bring it up. But did, do you remember the finish at all from the first fight? Yeah, he um he hit him with a left hook, got on top, ended up mounting him, and then yeah. they stopped it and threw him off of mount. Um, yeah. I thought it was a pretty good stoppage, you know. Uh, the only way we could tell is if it were it kept kept going. Jerry's a tough bastard, and I think it's a title fight. Maybe they should have given him a little bit more time. It's one yeah. of those where like, yeah, it he's not gonna die if you let him keep going, but I'm not gonna argue it, you know. Sure. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Is Different. there anything Geary has to do besides the takedowns to sort of get this one done? Anything else you feel like he could have some success with? Um, because that could. Literally I would say. Be I would say. I would say keep Alex on his back foot. You know, if you get if you let a guy like that come forward on you, he's gonna start piecing you. He's gonna time you. He's gonna pull from you, and um, you're gonna have a hard time, especially with a guy with game changing power like that, for sure. Is there a fight now? I mean, there has to be a fine line, right? Because he, once Yuri started to get him back up against the cage and really start to let those shots go, it seems like that's when Alex timed it perfectly and caught him. So you definitely want to be aggressive and put the pressure on him and keep him up against the cage, but you also don't want to get caught with a big shot. Like, how do you balance that? It, it seems like it's very difficult. Yeah, the, the thing is, you just can't get greedy. You know what I mean? To try to win one battle at a time. What well, Yuri is like, the problem is sometimes he tends to commit to a lot of his strikes all at once instead of throwing out feelers and touches and creating reactions. But with a guy like Vajeda, you don't want to play that technical game. You want to, It's good to make it a little ugly and dirty. So, I mean, I, I feel like he should just be able to read when, when Alex resets and sets. The moments he resets and sets is where he needs to be, avail uh, be in position to pull out or, or, um, or finish off his techniques at an angle. Uh, aside from that, just stay active. I really kind of, I kind of like the way he fought last fight, as aside from mix not mixing in the grappling as much as he should have. Just as I said, Make sure you don't get greedy and make sure you're ready to defend on those resets and whenever Alex is on um, uh, is is positioned to recap uh to counter him. For sure. And the thing about Alex Pereira, too, and you see this in all sports, whether it's certain teams or even in individual sports where it's certain people, like the guy is just a winner. Like he always he pulls it out. Yeah. Even when things aren't going his way against Adesanya, he pulls it out. He was in a close fight against Prohaska, he pulls it out. Do you agree? Like he's just has a knack for getting it done, even when things aren't going his way sometimes. Yeah, what's that word that's been going on around, around a lot? Aura? Yeah, he's got right. that aura, bro. He's got winning aura, man. He just he oh, yeah. goes in there, finds a way to win. He's a champion. Um, you can tell he's putting the time, he puts in the work, and he is a tough SOB, bro. You know what I mean? He can take one, and not only can he, you know, not only can he give it, he can take it too. So, you know, he's a strong dude. I mean, yeah. 
that really I gotta say. I think he he just has that winner's aura. There's some guys that are like that. They and they come out of nowhere. It's ridiculous. Like think about it. This guy was a few years in Brazil at a bar watching Izzy talk about this guy that beat him right. and wanted to be something and gets off the couch and goes wins two wins a title in two divisions. You know what I mean? Like that that's like that's not the craziest story you've ever heard. I don't know what is. It's definitely one of the craziest stories of MMA ever, right? I mean next to you... Mighty Mouse working in a coffee shop. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Right, yeah. right. That that's crazy, man. Yeah. Well, you know, again, such a good fight. Anyone that thinks Yuri has no chance, go back and watch fight one. I mean, again, you could argue he was winning, but again, very close fight. Uh, do you do you give Yuri any shot to win the fight at all? Absolutely. I think, and this is MMA. These are tiny gloves. You know what I mean? These are guys that are both bangers, great strikers. I think skill for skill, and as far as like timing wise, Fajeda is the better guy on the feet. But Jiri also has good stand-up himself, good power himself, great finishing ability himself. He's proven he can do submissions. He's proven that he can get Alex to the ground. I think he has a lot of ways to win, including on the feet. You know, I feel like his odds to win on the feet are a lot lower than Fajeda's, but I think Jiri has a chance anywhere. These are both guys that are world champions, former world champions, and the cream of the crop, and the best in the 205 division. So, you know, I think it's going to be a banger. I think it's a fight of the year candidate, not just a fight of the night or fight of the month. I think it's a fight of the year candidate, and I can't wait to see what happens. Do you have any uh, final predictions on it? You don't have to go specific, but who do you think wins and how? I think Alex wins by KO, middle okay. middle or late rounds. I think he go, he ends at end of second, in the third, or early in the fourth. Before we wrap, let me ask you this. When you look at light heavyweights, since you do think he's going to win, right? Who do you think has the best chance of beating a guy with that style? Because I think it's on Goliath. Because I think he's the only one that's not just going to stand there and strike with him, at least out of the contenders right now. But who do you think has the best chance to dethrone Alex at 205? Oh, my brother. Give me one second. I'm going to the UFC website to look at these rankings. Sure. Go ahead, man. I ain't going to lie. It's not been a division that I've been too into watching these days. Yeah. Ever since John Jones left, it's like become a carousel of champions. And, you know. Yeah, exactly. Crazy. I'm looking at it right now. Actually, the ranks. So let's look at the top 15 right now. I got it pulled up here. I ain't gonna lie, man. Nikita Krylov is a good fighter. He has got really good grappling, and he has relentless cardio. I think stylistically, I don't think he could finish Pajeda, but mm -hmm. I think he could definitely grind him out if he can get a hold of him for sure. I think he's a guy there. Another guy that I'd like to see uh, fight him too that can possibly strike with him pretty well. I don't think he can match him fully. Carlos Oberg. Carlos Oberg is a beast. You know what I mean? He's a little young. He's, an, he's a, a lot more inexperienced, but as far as athleticism, technique, and ability and potential, I think he's a guy that can be on the rise soon and give him a run for his money. Okay. Uh, I don't. I think Ankalaev is good, man. I just don't think he's going to have the distance management to be able to get in on, a, on the grappling and be able to control Alex. I think Alex can knock him out as well. Well, look, man, I do appreciate you spending some time here with us. Before we go, uh, you helped us talk about this a little bit. Anything next for you? Like, what in a perfect world, what would be best for you next? Like, when do you want to get back into action? Man, right now, um, you know, I've been training. I've been doing a lot, a lot of off-season work, you know, a lot of skill building. Uh, you know, the grind has a stop. I'm in really good shape. If the UFC called me to fight in four weeks, I could fight in four weeks. Four weeks, six weeks, shit, two weeks I'd do if I had to chop a leg off to make weight. You know, I'm not that heavy, but it'd be hard, but I could do it. I'm in good shape for it. I mean, ideally in a perfect world, I'd like late, uh, late, uh, eh, late August, early September to get a matchup. Uh, doesn't matter who, to be honest, at this point. I know I've had two fights in the UFC that could have gone either way. First one, fight of the night, should have got it, got robbed on that one. You know, I think I still feel I lost that fight by a little bit, you know, but a lot of people are telling me I got robbed on that one. I don't believe so. The Markel fight, Markel's a really good fighter. We had a really competitive fight, but I thought I clearly had a two to one. Um, the UFC is definitely giving me another shot, but unfortunately being 0-2, I don't really have any leverage. So just bring them on and I'll prove y'all wrong. You know what I mean? And I'm going to jump the ladder and I'm going to keep moving and keep moving. And I'm going to make my dreams come true one way or another, you know? by any means necessary so whatever the UFC gives me i'm ready for it i'm in shape i'm working just you know i i, I got nothing to ask for i just i just want to get another fight man i want to prove that i belong and um i want to get the ball rolling and get back on track well i'm glad to see you're ready and it's it's safe to say that if the ufc calls you within for a fight within the next few months you'll definitely be ready then yes sir absolutely so tune in pay attention to big marcel's instagram page pay attention to mma junkie pay attention to the ufc um, and just, you know, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be posting myself as soon as I get something, but I'm ready to go. So, you know, don't blink.